Hi folks, welcome back to Carl's Place. I am Carl and today I am going to show you yet another classic recipe. Um, something I think everyone probably loves and if you've never tried it, I really need you to try this. I'm going to make for you sausage gravy and biscuits. Stick with me, or we'll get cooking. Alrighty, so sausage gravy and biscuits. Now, the gravy is very simple. Three basic ingredients and then some additional ones if you if you prefer. Um, the basics, what you'll need is one pound of breakfast sausage. Um, you can usually find them in those little cellophane tubes. Um, they come in all different flavors. I'm going with just regular um, pork breakfast sausage. They have, they have hot, they have spicy, they have maple. Whatever you prefer, go ahead and use that because they're all delicious in them. Uh, you will need uh, between four and five tablespoons of flour, which once we add it in, it's going to be added in slowly. So you'll have to judge if you want the four or the full five in up to three cups of whole milk. I wouldn't suggest using, you know, making this recipe with um, anything other than whole milk. I personally drink um, no fat milk um, when I'm drinking it. But if I'm cooking with anything, I always use whole milk because you get the best results that way. So, and the last ingredient that ingredient that I put in, I put in a little bit of onion powder, uh, maybe about a half a tablespoon or a teaspoon. It just gives it a little extra flavor. You don't have to use this. I, I prefer this. You can use garlic powder or any other kind of, I guess, savory spice that you want. Um, you could probably, even a little bit of rosemary would be really good in there. Fresh rosemary, because it, I think there's already some rosemary spice in the sausage. So that would only enhance it more. But it, it, it's your personal preference. I add onion powder. And of course, once you have the gravy, you have to pour it on biscuits. Now, I'm not, I'm not a very good baker. So I usually buy my biscuits and the little tubey things and pop them. And I, I like doing that. And then they explode and you cook them. Well, apparently, I didn't grab the grams. I grabbed what I thought was going to be at least human-sized biscuits, but they ended up these little Lilliputian biscuits. <laughs> so I don't know if they were supposed to be that way or they just didn't grow. I don't know. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's a biscuit, and once you pour this gravy over it, it's not going to matter how big your biscuit is. So... Let's get to the stove and get cooking. Okay, now I would suggest if, if, if you do have a, a cast iron pan, go ahead and use that because that, it's probably gonna have that, create those nice bits um, of, of sausage on, on the, in the pan that you want. So go ahead and use that. Set the, uh, set the heat to no higher than medium high. You never wanna put a cast iron pan on high because it could actually crack. So these get hot enough on their own at just, you know, approximately medium high. So don't go any higher than that. Let the hand heat up. You can feel it with your hand. It's starting. So I'm going to get the sausage in and just get that going. You don't need any oil or anything like that. That's how easy this recipe is. So go ahead and break your sausage meat up and we'll get this browned. Okay, now you want to cook the sausage until all the pink is gone and it's just starting to get a little brown. So keep the sausage moving so it has universal cooking. Okay, now you can turn your heat down a little bit more to medium. And what I like to do is to start adding the flour slowly 
And I also like to sift it. So let me get a spoon. And I'll just start with a couple of tablespoons at once. And I just like to spread it over. It's, it just makes it easier to mix in and you don't really, it helps prevent any lumps. I'll go ahead and get that mixed in. What you want is the flour to absorb any juices and that little bit of grease. It doesn't give off that much grease, so, but you do have to cook the flour off to get rid of that raw taste. A little bit more. Turn it back up. So I would say that ended up being about four, four tablespoons of flour. Get that all mixed in. It makes it, it just makes it look really, really dry at this point, which is what you want. Now turn your heat back up to medium high and start slowly. You want to whisk your, the milk in. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's put the, the seasoning first. I almost forgot the onion powder. So a little bit of salt, not too much. And lots of cracked black pepper. Pepper really makes, um, white sauces pop. Usually you put um, um, white pepper, but for this we use the black pepper. Now you start slowly pouring your milk in. And you want to whisk, get all that, those little good bits up. Get all that flour mixed in. And just keep adding the milk until all three cups are incorporated. Or you think it's thick enough. So if you want it a little thicker, you put a little less milk. I don't see why you would want it thinner, so that's on you. <laughs> Just thicken up a little bit more. See now when it's thick enough and you pull your, your spoon or your whisk back and it kind of takes it a second to fall back into place. You want it at least that thick, if not thicker. So I'm going to go just a little thicker because I like mine to stick to my ribs. Okay, let's give this a taste. Mmm. So just a little more salt. And a lot more pepper. And I'm going to turn my heat off now. And that is it. Sauce and gravy. Look how beautiful that is. Most of the bits from the bottom have gone out. Okay, I'll take this off the heat. And go ahead and get the biscuits ready. Okay, so I pop the biscuits into the microwave for like 10 seconds so they don't get um, stale. 
<laughs> but I had to use three of them because they're so small. <laughs> and I'm going to just put a little bit of my homemade butter on here. I think I have butter. And then you just take your gravy, nice and hot, nice and thick, and just pour it over. Oh, nice. Look at that. Of course, some more cracked black pepper, and it's ready to go. Okay, let's go ahead and taste test this. We're back, and this is what you got: sausage gravy and biscuits. Lots of biscuits. <laughs> let's go ahead and give it a taste. Nice and steaming. Mm. So many little things just make me happy. This is one of them. It's sausagey, if that's a word. No, it is. Um, savory peppery creamy so good now i think um i think it probably originated more in the southern part of the country if in this country at all i'm not really sure but um it's it's countrywide now you can get sausage gravy and biscuits practically anywhere so just like um um, poutine from from Canada is now pretty much saturated into the United States so oh. mm. you know you can you can make this in advance up to five days in the fridge it stays fine if you want to reheat it just throw it into a little pan add a little bit of milk to help it along and pour it on your biscuits, no matter how big they are. <laughs> but it's delicious. Great breakfast, gives you energy, makes you feel full, makes you feel warm inside when, when it's cold out, which it is today. Um, yeah, absolutely delicious. And like I said, you can, you can, you can mix it up the way you, you think you would like it. I had put the onion powder. It'd be absolutely delicious with um, garlic powder. As a matter of fact, my sister makes hers with garlic powder, and it's awesome. Um, another thing that would be really good in this is um, fresh thyme. Really good. Because um, like I said, I think the sausage meat has a lot of that, you know, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme base to it. So that would only enhance the flavors. And that's it. So simple, delicious. I hope you liked today's video. Um, if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification buttons so you don't miss any future videos from Carl's Place. And go ahead and make this and let me know how you did. Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.